Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to create an advanced audio player in React.js. So before we kind of take a look at the code, I wanted to show you the demo that I've prepared for you guys. So this is a very simple, straightforward demo that I've prepared for you guys. There is a file picker here. There is a play pause button and an audio upload button. And here you have a slider, which helps you zoom in and zoom out on a the timeline. There is also a timeline here, which shows you the duration that is being played in the audio and this is what we'll try to create today in this tutorial so now let's take a look at the code really quick now before we kind of take a deep dive into the code there is a library that i'd like to talk about which is the wave surfer library this is the library that i'm using to generate the waveform and do all of the cool shit so i'd recommend you guys go through this library i'll leave a link to the library in the description below now let's take a look at the code really quick so i have an input field here with type as file and since we have an audio player i'm only allowing audio slash mp3 to be picked from the file picker and i have an i have a method which triggers on the on change of the input which is the create waveform function there is also an use effect callback that i'm using now before we take a look at the create waveform i think it's worthwhile to take a look at what happens in the use effect hook so here i'm creating an instance of the wave surfer and i'm passing in some options so the container so this is the id where the waveform will be loaded uh, there is a wave color, progress color, cursor color. So all of these colors are here. So you can see a bit of difference in the color here. So this is the progress color. This is the wave color. Then you have the bar width, the bar radius, the cursor width, the height of the whole thing, the bar gap and a couple of plugins. All of these are aesthetic and they make the progress bar look a bit more modern. Uh, the plugins will something we'll get into at the later stage but what i'd like to highlight is that we are creating a wave surfer instance here and since we want the same instance across multiple renders of the component we are using the use ref hook here and then we have attaching two events uh on on the way on the wave surfer instance there is a ready event and there is also a region created event so region created event we'll get to later on the ready callback we set a set waveform loaded state to true and because of that value we don't see the loading text here there is also a enable drag selection which will which is helpful uh, to create regions now let's take a look at what happens when you select an audio so the create waveform function uh, is important to create a waveform right so first we set a set waveform loaded to false and we take the file which the user has chosen from the file picker we create a new file reader this is pretty basic stuff then on the reader we read whatever the file is as an array buffer so this is raw bytes i have to try to read and whenever the reading is complete there is a onload callback which then gets triggered uh, to which we pass and to which we pass the event uh, so here we try to create a blob which represents the raw file data and now we take the blob and we load it in the wave surfer instance here is some commented code which helps you load data over a url right so for example you want to load data from an s3 bucket you first do all of this then you try to fetch a pre-signed url because i'm assuming that wherever you upload the data uh, to the bucket is private right it's not public bucket then you upload the data using the pre-signed url and then what you do is you pass in the data.url to the wave surfers load function now remember there are two different functions to load data inside of the wave surfer instance one when you when you are trying to load it over a url and one when you are trying to load it using a blob so keep that in mind i was stuck here for a good half an hour so be sure you are using the right method to load the data depending upon how you are trying to pass the data to the wave surfer instance then we have a zoom level that you set the wave surfer dot current has all of these api methods that you can find on the wave surfer website once the waveform is created now you saw there were a bunch of controls that we had right so there is a play pause button so in the play pause this is pretty straightforward with the play pause you just actually you check if the if the current state of the wave surfer instance if it is playing uh, then you pause it if it is not playing then you play it right uh, there is a zoom in and zoom out thing that i have made uh, so it depends on the slider and on change there is a zoom in callback which gets called and you basically set the zoom level right so you say wave surfer current zoom level current zoom e.target.value 
and because this has to also reflect on the slider you say set zoom level e dot target dot value right so this is the zoom in and zoom out and the play pause play pause thing now i also want to introduce something that i have something that i've created using the plugins so one is the wave surfer regions plugin and the wave surfer timeline plugin now the wave surfer timeline plugin is pretty straightforward it helps you create this timeline for for that to happen you need to pass in a container there are also a bunch of other options which help you style the timeline so those you can also pass it here but the container is the least that you need to pass in right so the container is again a div here uh in in our jsx which then again uh hides if the waveform isn't loaded and uh, is visible if the waveform is loaded and the other plugin which is super important is the wave surfer regions plugin now this plugin at first like to show you an action what it does so if i try to drag over the timeline it creates this region here right and i can create multiple of these and i can and as you can see there are entries created here and i can click on the cross to delete them right and recreate them again and you can also see that they are these are color coded right or they aren't necessarily uniquely color coded but they are fairly fairly unique in that sense so how did i make this so this was created using the uh, wave surfer regions plugin right so as you can see i have passed in a max length option here which then prevents a region to be created which is greater than 60 seconds right you can also pass in a min length which then restricts the minimum length uh, that a region can be you have already a bunch of options here which you can find in the wave surfer regions documentation also i have a event listener whenever a region is created and what that does is that it sets a random color to that region that's why you can see all of these regions when i create in different colors and uh, i set a max length here and also add it in a regions array which is a part of my state and because of setting it in this setting it at a state you can see these entries here created so segment zero segment one and segment two right uh, so this is the regions created callback so you can also play a region right so if i click on the it segment back, it right it plays from the segment it plays from the start of the segment to the end of the segment right so if i try to actually reduce this segment so now if i try to play this segment oh, here that's, that's a crazy one that was a great one um or another one is next time you get sick see it stops uh, at the end of the segment right so if i want to play it again i just oh, click on it was. that's a crazy one that was a All right so it starts at the start of the segment and ends at the end of the segment right so how did i do that so this is the function called play region it's pretty straightforward i just say wave surfer dot current dot region so the wave surfer instance already maintains a list of regions uh, on a regions property and then i can pass in an id depending upon uh, depending upon the id of the region that i've clicked on and it just plays the id right so that's the play region and i have also a delete segment or a delete region function here so if i click on the x here it deletes the region right so this happens because of the delete segment function uh, to which i pass in an id and what that does it just removes it prop, uh, from the regions property that i have on the wave surfer instance it already has a remove method i would need to update it in my state as well so i do that here i think that's pretty much going to be it for this video you can create a audio editor using react js with wave surfer there is a ton of customization that you can do as, as i've shown in the code you can also try to load a file using a url if you want me to go in deep and try to explore more of wave surfer along with react do let me know in the comments below thank you guys for joining uh, like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one.